because of the height issue between the trunk and the um, and coming into the actual car that if I lay them on the two inch side um, side by side then I shouldn't really have a problem with that um, I've got stuff to lay down so that um, it doesn't damage anything in my car so fun stuff and then not only that I have to stop at the grocery store and pick up some stuff because we're having a neighborhood um, 4th of July lunch
very good picture of Kevin with the no mock experience either. But I put up the picture that I did have and um, it was unfortunate. I, I didn't really talk to uh, Ron with Ron Sees America. But, you know, I listened to him talk with other people. Um, I didn't get a chance to spend very much time talking to, to everybody. I, that, was, that was the disappointing part for me, you know. But, you know, it was a long drive down there. And we only had that day really to, to be down there. We couldn't stay. Um, we had a lot of stuff going on, and we still have a lot of stuff going on. So, we're pretty much going to be so busy between now and uh, probably October. It's just going to be unreal. Uh, lots and lots and lots of things going on. Right now, Scott, like I said, Scott's working on the porch today, and we're placing, replacing all the wood uh, planks and everything that were the top of the porch, and we're actually adding more trusses to the bottom because we decided to go with the decking material. In, um, as the floor um, so that it, you know we don't have as much problem with rot and yeah we live in a very wet rainy place so rot is a real issue the dampness is a real issue so we're hoping with that project and we're also replacing our front door. I've been wanting to replace that front door since the first time we got there. I thought it was kind of a, well, I don't know, just, just not me. So we got a new front door that's going in and I believe that that's going to happen sometime next week. We have some neighbors that are coming over to help us with it. And then either the last week of July or the first week of August is when they start tearing our house apart and putting the new windows in and um, tearing off the old siding and checking all the underlayments and, and whatever else that they need to check to make sure that there's no black mold or rot in those and replacing that and then they are going to um, get the um, party siding put on it and then they're going to paint it and we're doing the paint same paint scheme as Scott's shop and I'm really excited about it the only thing I'm a little disappointed about is the, I wanted to have rock on about, you know, three feet up on the front side of the house and along the side of the house where our driveway is that um, goes into the carport. And that was going to be an additional $18,000 for that, so we told them no, because what work they are doing, putting the windows in, we, we bought the windows, they're just doing the insulation of them, and of course they're going to be doing the outside framing, and um, the painting, and all that kind of stuff, but wow. Let me tell you, it was a sticker shock to see what the bid was. And we did check out several different people, and they were all, you know, way up there. I know materials cost a lot. We're bracing ourselves, you know, for what additional cost there's going to be. Because if any of the underlayment is uh, and sheathing and stuff like that um, needs
needs to be replaced, we um, will have to deal with that. And yeah, so much fun. Not. <laughs> so anyway, let's see. What else do we need to do? Well, before the contractors even get here, we're going to have to, uh, we have still a little bit of cleanup around the house. We had a lot of mature vegetation that was around the house. We have like roadies and um, we had a couple of trees that were rather close. And um, yeah, we had to we had to deal with a lot of that. And on our back patio because we hadn't really been using it a lot after we got rid of our hot tub. Um, it became kind of a storage area for our buckets of rocks. And so we're cleaning up that area as well. Um, gotta get everything moved that is within 18 inches away from the house, basically. And, yeah, so we've got a lot of that done already, though. I'm worried about some of my plants, though, because it really isn't the time of the year to be moving, you know, to dig them up and move them. They might not survive. But... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Our garden, I started doing um, little seedlings, you know, uh, inside the house. And this year we've had nothing but cold weather and rain except for maybe our three days of summer we've had so far. And it just looks like we're just not going to have a garden this year again after all that that effort to get an early start and everything so that really stinks <laughs> I like having a garden I love having fresh stuff you know but hopefully hopefully there'll be some fruit and vegetable stands I like going out and supporting the farmers as well. Um, so, I'll probably end up doing that. I really like to have tomatoes because I do can tomatoes because I use them in other um, recipes and stuff. And of course I like jellies and jams and different kinds of fruit butters and um, we like to create uh, to can our own green beans too um, since we've been doing that and everything it, it's really re helped reduce some of our sodium because all of those canned vegetables have a lot of sodium in them and anymore, I can, you know, going out and getting some french fries, <laughs> oh my goodness, almost every time they're way too salty. grow too is the crooked neck squash and the um, acorn squash and zucchini also so what I'll do with those is um, I usually cut those up and I will make stir-fry packages 
videos. So I'll put stuff in there like um, sliced onions and the zucchini, crooked neck squash, and you know, whatever else that I can come up with that we put in our garden. And then that's really easy to take those out and whatever meat that we use to prepare the stir fry with. I just toss those frozen vegetables in there and uh, use that for stir fries. They're also good, you know, just to cook them up and put a little butter on them and maybe a little bit of seasoning and cook them up for a side for something else that we have. And
once we are done with Yellowstone, we're going to go down to the Grand Tetons. And then we're coming back through the middle part of, um, from Eastern Oregon, well, from Idaho, and then through Eastern Oregon to come home. So, like I said, going to be busy, busy, busy.